Yeah, when we uh, moved into our office in Regency, Bob was in college. Yeah. And then one day Bob said that he wanted to get into the silver market. So uh, he asked his parents to use some of the assets from margin <laughs> and then their account to transfer money over to open the commodity account and so then Bob started buying silver and uh, and then he just kept buying more and more and then he'd buy gold and then it uh, transformed into a very large pile when the hunts decided to corner of the market, which they never succeeded, right. but it was a, a great run for uh, Bob and his parents. That's true. Uh, so one last thing about that silver deal. You remember one day in 1980, I, I think I, was, I had a profit on paper of over two million bucks. You had, you were, you were ahead at one time, almost five million. Yeah, yeah. And then it uh, it started in fading, yeah. and when it got down to two or three million, you got out. Yeah, it yeah it was quite the play. Now let me ask you, um, do you stay in touch? Do you still stay in touch with uh, some of the brokers from then, like Dennis Roberts or any of those guys? Are they still in town? I just run into them. I don't keep in touch with them. Uh huh. I don't. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Well, great talking to you. I'm very glad to hear you say nice things about my parents. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the interview. Sure.